so we are here with dr ashish satwa uh, satav satav sir founding director of uh, mahan uh, he has worked extensively in the field of medical uh, provisions for rurally backward people and he has been proficiently well sir so tell us something about yourself sir actually after joining medical college i decided to work in some tribal areas where the medical facilities are very scarce especially like i started visiting areas like gadchiroli then melghat and other tribal areas of karnataka i found that even a poor person poor tribal person he has some very small illness but who could not afford to go outside to a doctor for the treatment and if there is some major illness like heart attack or meningitis or cerebral malaria mm-hmm. that family or that person prefer to die rather than going to some advanced or higher cities for uh, management of their patients so i decided ki i'll work um, throughout my life for such a tribal area where patients are very reluctant to go or they can't afford to go outside for treatment hence by my grandfather mr sundra bhubankar who has devoted his whole life for gandhian philosophy he worked with mahatma gandhi then mr sundar novama way and dr prakash narayan his uh, revolution against the corruption in india indian government so that inspired me i did to work so but you are excellently qualified you are a highly, highly qualified doctor and you come from an institute of national repute so did it never bother you to pursue a career in the corporate industry actually i feel very satisfied when i treat patients very poor travel patients who can't afford to go to higher centers your social in- initiative of mahan has brought a huge difference in the areas of surrounding meghat and surrounding areas so can you tell us something about what all changes it will bring along with your initiative along with our hospital uh, i like to tell you the policy changes uh, which uh, we could do like uh, because uh, like uh, our basic one of our basic vision or mission we can say is that think globally and act locally mm-hmm. so if we i am working suppose in melghat area myself or mahan will be able to serve at the most 30 40 50 villages not more than that but the problem of malnutrition child deaths or people dying of this is like tuberculosis pneumonia is present prevalent everywhere in rural and tribal part of india millions of people are dying in india and developing countries due to such illnesses so i thought ki i should conduct some research scientific study in this area and the results which i got through this research i should use this for starting similar programs in other areas other developing part of india as well as developing countries at the initial stages did you face any challenges for social acceptance because every social initiative is faced with a lot of problems on the society a lot of friction on the society so did you encounter any problems or challenges yeah uh, there were problems or challenges were of two types challenges from the community and challenges from the system a government system or political system challenges from the community were not that severe but the challenges from government system and political system were very severe uh, first challenge from community as this community most of the people they were tribal semi literate or illiterate they were not aware of modern medical facilities so initially they were very reluctant to come to our hospital for treatment special so your initiative must have required a lot of financial support so did you ever face any problem in <coughs> that was uh, problem since beginning for especially for first 5 years like uh, when we started the hospital and when kavita joined uh, there was no support for our ophthalmic team so never did government come in front come up front to help you out with your financial needs uh, for one project they helped for nearly 2 to 3 years but we found that it's very difficult to get funds from government because most of the government machinery they are involved in corruption they mm-hmm. want some bribe and we have decided we will not give a single penny to anybody else as a bribe uh, so so it's become difficult to get funds from government system so sir never did you face a comp- uh, competition from profit seeking agencies no never because in that area there is not a single private practitioner working in that area so there is no such competition in that area um, because that area is a very poor tribal area and it's very difficult 
for a high, highly qualified doctors to come and settle there then government is not suitable for such doctors so i don't think so in near next 10 to 20 years somebody will come and try to compete us so your story is a huge inspiration for all of us thank you but uh, sir have you ever experienced of people turning towards your social path yeah like uh, now i could mobilize the medical college to send their doctors not more than ready but definitely at medical colleges volunteered to help me they have appointed around 10 to doctors on rotation basis to help me then few instances have recently joined they are not a mobile but they are from medical background they have joined our institute this last one two to three years a few young stars are now coming as volunteers to help for some kind of us. So what is the expectation from the youth of India? Yeah, they have a lot of... Actually, Indian youth have a lot of capacities. Uh, I will not ask your youth to uh, leave the modern society and go to some rural area. But definitely, wherever they are working, they should work with honesty. Then They should work for the nation. Some part of their life, uh, see, you can say, uh, some hour per day or some weeks per year like they, they should go to some such backward areas or even if they are living in cities they should visit some slums and help those poor people so there are a lot of millions of poor and backward economically socially backward people in India so our youth should spend some part of their life and some part of their money also they should donate to such organizations or such uh, poor people uh, for their study for their uh, health etc. 